Okay, so let's begin. Um, we're gonna need a uh, planning. Tell me your planning, oh, and then choose a load for this operation. Hands. It's only a demon. We'll just walk in and say hi. Yeah. So we're going into the lost plan? district. Yeah, one. Let's let's, uh, <laughs> let's make a plan, shall we? So you don't really know one thing. You don't. I, so currently, yeah. What what's your plan? What what are we doing? Do you guys want to use an occult plan or an assault plan? Occult plan. What is an occult plan? Uh, arcane power. Ooh. I don't think we have that. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, what do we have to actually okay. accomplish this? No. Yeah, I think assault is all we got. Like, I, I think we're, I mean, we're tier one, right? Like, we're stupid. We're just gonna go in and try. Do to get we it. want to assault them? We, although we are not a big faction, it's still kind of dumb. May, they are intelligent beings, after all, very intelligent beings. Maybe we could talk yeah. to them. That was assault is very stupid. Yeah. Um, Let's find out what this like demon wants. Assault, as in. We hide first in an ambush. That would sure. probably be like a stealth plan. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you guys getting into Lost District? Oh, I yeah. have I... friends with the Railjacks. No, you don't. Not anymore. Yeah. This guy's gonna say no. Remember, no, remember, uh, this was a thing from Fraser that you were gonna, you got the uniforms, but they were no longer gonna be your friends or whatever. Oh, like there's no yeah. more favors. So I need to delete Duncan Arias. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah. No, I mean you still know Duncan, but like you can't call at him for favors. Yeah. Unless like just, you, you know, I mean no, you can still talk to him, but like this is no longer a shoe in, is what I'm saying, right? He's no longer like not going to help you. It's just that um he's going to need more convincing now to do anything okay. for you guys. Okay. Right? So uh coin is a thing. Let's go speak to well, him. Well, what about uh the hound? Can he get us in with jurisdictional stuff? I don't have jurisdiction anymore. No one has uh, jurisdiction over the Lost District. Oh, and you also don't have your, your badge anymore right now. I no, think, no, I don't. Um, there's, is there a faction that actually watches over the electric fence? Or, like, deals yes. with the... The railjacks are the people who are responsible for maintaining are it. Are they... Okay. I thought I they just did the railways. Uh, we well, don't have any... I think friends. part of doing the railways is making sure that there's no breaches in the fence and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Okay. So, I think... Because he's not necessarily a friend. He won't do things for us for free. But... He knows us, and I think that we could convince him with coin, because that's pretty much what, like, railjacks don't get paid much. Look, you guys know there's three ways of getting into the Lost District right now, uh, that are known. Mm. This is, like, general general kind of stuff. One, by boat. Um, the Scovelins, uh, the Silver Nails, you know the Silver Nails go into the Lost District and hunt ghosts and stuff like that by boat and they ride out on these like awesome horses and stuff from these boats they basically like d-day invade it i don't even know if we can do that but it's really cool to. <laughs> so they this is something that they do uh two uh you know that the circle of flame goes to the lost district through some tunnels beneath the city i was gonna say we ha we know about some tunnels don't we yeah three we have three the um you know that some people jump off of the trains Using oh, the let's do that. To get there. Let's jump off of train. Yeah. I think no, that, off stuff. No, I, I I feel like we're 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 in with the circle flame. They want us to go take care of it. They would let us use their tunnel to get there. They're not going to be like, hey, go take care of yeah. them. But uh, we're going to completely shut off our passage to there for you. That's a good point. I have a counterpoint. We don't get to jump off of the train. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We'll I'm sure we'll have something. To <laughs> we're about to go fight a demon. That's all the excitement. <laughs> All right. All right. Give me your look. Give me your guys' loads. Okie doke. I have with me. A... No, no. You just do the load. You don't need to say how much. Yeah. Just yeah, determine right. a light, normal, yeah, or no. heavy. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I have a heavy load. Okay. You guys are all like outfitted for war. Um, I'm oh. trying to remember what is the downside to more stuff again. Um, you you're well, like you look this. more conspicuous. Right. Oh. I think that would be fine, though, right? Um, yeah, but also, like, as consequences, it could very easily be you lose one point of a load, right, for things, right. right? So. Okay, I think I'll go normal. God damn it, Nick. Yeah, that's exactly right. Give me your guys' loads. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Because <laughs> uh, Nyrix's spirit pain charm is uh, doesn't count to lo towards load, does it? Spirit pain charms are no. Like so, um, italics 
Italicized items do not count for load. Uh, I think bold and means fine. So like sometimes it's a little yeah, bit redundant that they do. They have that stuff on, listed that way. But so what is? Uh, let me count it out. Um, heavy armor. You don't have to tell me. Or you don't have to tell me what it actually is, right? Yeah, I'm I'm telling myself really. Okay. All right. And so probably an arcane implement. What does four count as? Because light is three, five is five is normal. That's just that just literally tells you the number of items you can carry. I just want to know if you everyone has a light, normal, or heavy load. No, yeah, but where does where does four items stand? Light or heavy? Uh, light or normal? Light. It's saying no. Right? It's no. It's normal. Does it round up? No. It's above. If it's above light, then it's normal. The maximum yeah. for a normal oh. load is five. So why wouldn't you? Why would you ever choose four then? Right. I don't you know. Wouldn't, you wouldn't. No, I'll just take five, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll bring my documents with me. That'll help. <laughs> you don't want to, like, take some armor? I don't have any. Uh, we all do. So, uh, like, maybe? part of... Hold on. So, guys, don't... Stop asking what you're bringing. I just want to know your load. Just don't tell me what you're bringing yet. Just tell me the number. Like, you know, or tell me the quality. <laughs> that Blades is not supposed to be like, oh, okay, what items are we bringing? Okay, for Oregon Tra we're not playing Oregon Trail. Normal! Okay, Normal. thank you. Heavy. Awesome. Thank you. Alright, let's let's figure out and so um Yeah, this this is like a free flashback. You have the plans to get through to um into the city through the Circle of Flames underground stuff. So that's you have that you have that entry point. Right, so you're doing a stealth plan. Or you're yeah. gonna are you going to attack from there? No, we should talk to him first. Uh huh. And say what? Please you don't want... be a demon. It'd be very nice if you left. No, we should maybe just say, hey, what do you want? How can we help you? So. And find out what she's doing here and why. And... What's your social connection to the demon? I would, like, that doesn't work. Yeah. Um, That's... Never mind, let's just get it. <laughs> so, what uh... is it? Stealth? What, which, which plan? Uh, maybe it's assaulting. Stealth. Okay, we're assaulting, we and we're, we're going through the tunnels. Okay, cool. With stealth, um, and stealth. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna stealth. roll an engagement roll, and we're gonna start out um, you guys going underneath the electric fence, cool. uh, into the okay. into the uh, the Deathlands, into the Lost District. So you guys have to cut through six towers, uh, and maybe there's some kind of connection through six towers in across the canal, um, into um, the Lost District. I'm so, picturing like the um, tunnel in The Last of Us when you're going through, and there's sometimes like jabs of electricity coming down. the Oh side. yeah, it's ex oh that's a fucking perfect example. Also, it's fucking swampy as shit. Like it's filled with water. Like you guys are like you know like chest deep in water going through this stuff. Um, there's there's no way around it. There's just there's no place to walk. It's all swamp. It's all and, or excuse me, it's all uh, submerged. And so I bring a pallet over to Dex because he obviously can't swim. He's our alley. <laughs> Hang on. What so do you mean you can't swim? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That's racist. Yeah, I think I think you, as a child, thing, you have a swim teacher and you had like a, a, a horse teacher, but you still can't do either of those things. You so, can't ride a bike either. I can ride a horse. <laughs> of course, I can ride a horse. Um, I'm just Vietnaming it. Where I've got my so gun you guys, over the you guys, head. you guys are a tier one <laughs> crew. Um, <laughs> You guys are going into enemy territory none of you have ever been in before. It's well defended and prepared. You have right now one die for your engagement roll. Oh, shit. Anything you guys can do to convince me to give yourself a better um, right. engagement? Well, uh, the Circle of Flame told us where dangerous points in the tunnel were that we should avoid and how to cross it safely. We also have a um, bronze mask filler with us. Who is probably the going whisper. out? The whisper, the 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 ex uh, guy, whisper. Grime. Yeah, well, that is yeah. Grimes. That you have Grimes, but Grimes will help you solve occult problems, not necessarily yeah, help like, you with this engagement there, role. And yeah, she can tell us um, what to look out for while we're trekking. She might be able to help you solve problems of, of the occult nature, but that would not. I would not say that actually just helps you right now with the engagement role per se. Um, I, the reason why the Circle of Flame is helping you, like that, is why you have one die instead of zero die. Yeah. Oh damn it. This target is well prepared. Okay, who's rolling? 
Um, and they're well prepared. Basically, I'm, what I'm saying is that they're actually giving you two dice for this, but because of the tier differential, you're, uh, oh, you're subtracting yeah. a die, so you have one die right now. Gotcha. Nugget, uh, you seem to roll reason. Yeah. Taylor uh, rolled a six, so he's probably good. I already rolled yeah. a six, so my luck's you're, out. You're oh, out. yeah, you're tapped out of luck, so someone else yeah. has to do it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, final thing. We can't think of anything to get us? I don't think of anything. I can't think of anything. I mean... Yeah, we're pretty new on the scene. I think we're, I think it's normal that we... I think having one money. die is nice for us. I think we should just take the one die and be okay with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Go. Okay, let's do it. Give me that six. Got that five. That's okay. Enough. Um... Ooh. Okay, got it. Uh, so you're able to. So you so you start Nobody getting close. <laughs> you get like... close to the wall, right? You get close to where the charms are, and um, there's definitely some kind of like arcane runes through the place where you're supposed to go that are warding off, um, like ghosts getting in. Oh. But here's the problem. On the other side of the the fence or whatever, you see the um, you see the frozen like the water is frozen over. And you see, like, um, perhaps, like, on one side of the wall, uh, like, perhaps, up, like, a basically, a, when ghosts interact in real life, they freeze stuff around them. So it, you saw, like, a ghost, like, kind of, like, patrol through. Um, oh, not through the actual frozen. fence, but run, run perpendicular or parallel to the to the fence, right? So it's, like, looking for a way in. So, like, there's, a, so th there's signs of ghosts nearby, right? Winter's like, ghosts winter. trying to get into um, the stuff. I'm peeking out the mic. Hi. Sound okay. You don't sound crisp, but you sound fine. Is this better? Yeah, it sounded fine the whole time for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I I I quieted myself a little bit, so. I feel I feel like Nick's being a little Nick picky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really getting in the character there. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah. Let me know if you guys can still yeah. hear me. If you can hear me, it's good. I can hear you just fine, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're good, dude. Eric never gets loud, never gets mad. Kelsey yeah. never seen me play Overwatch, that's why. Anyways. Uh, I was gonna say, until we one-shot this demon. Awesome. Okay. That's not gonna happen. Um, so, no. so, yeah, so, yeah. Um, so there's these wards here. Um, you're gonna need um, to, get, to bypass them, and there's also there's signs of the ghosts are trying to get in um, to the city from outside. Okay. Just, so they don't, do they like uh, touch up against? Are they like the Raptors in Jurassic Park, where they keep testing it for yeah, weakness? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, okay. but um, right now you don't see them right now, right? Okay, right. but so you, you have you, like, there's down. signs of their activity Sorry. in the form of frost in in the path on the okay. other side of the ward. That's like where the fence would go. So maybe as we like enter, we hear like a scream far away of so, a ghost okay. testing it, and I'm like, clever girl. So here's the thing. You don't know. You don't need a bigger gun. Turns so, out it's your wife. So you guys you guys don't know if this fence prevents people from getting out or prevents only ghosts from getting in right now. You don't know. Oh. Okay. So we need So that's both. the problem. That's the, that's what I, the, that's where we're at. We likely now. found out that information before. Not that I remember. Mm. I don't remember. Would much, you like so you couldn't you could go with it? Flash back and be like, "Well, I, I studied and learned that it's fine." That would be no, I, I don't remember much, so I'll just go with it. It's fine. Well, mm -hmm. there's nothing to go with right now. This is the this is the obstacle preventing you guys from going forward. Are you just gonna go uh, through and and then risk it? Well, are you gonna try uh, to like make sure? I it's take safe a wrench gonna... and I throw it at it. You you throw a wrench. Yeah. Does it explode? Do you have a wrench? Is I this part of your something. load? Uh, no. You're gonna throw, you're gonna we, throw, throw something from your load that, away, like at this thing. No, 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 no. Throw it's gonna, whatever it's gonna happen, it's gonna fall in this murky black water. And if you want to like dig around with it, that's like neck deep. That's fine with me, man. But like, <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't throw something useful. But like, just throw, a rock. throw a rock or a stick or something. Um, um, I don't think there is any. There's not there's... really anything around. It's just water. <laughs> Uh, like Does unless you want to like you, you want to put your hand down in, into like the the murky black water where you're stepping and like grab the first thing that's solid and throw it through there. Is that what you want to do? Is that what you're telling X, me? X, you're probably not going to do much fighting. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give us a flashback? 
What am I flashing back to? Maybe uh, you're talking to Badger or something. Yeah, yeah. Gators, you can flash back to whatever you think gives you the answer to this problem. Like, that's the beauty of this game. You can be like, I'm going to go talk so to this like, old friend. Know whether we don't if we go through this barrier, whether we can come back, is that it? No, you don't know if it if it will like shock you if you try to walk. Oh through. right, okay. Right, you don't know if it's like a ward that prevents things. You know that it prevents ghosts from coming in from one side. It does not. You do not know if it prevents you from going out the other side. I disagree. That's a bad idea, Mister West. Please don't do that. Um, your whisper, so, uh, your whisper, tell uh, Grimes tells you like I don't. I'm not really sure. Oh no, would, no, fuck it. No, she absolutely knows. Oh, she could help you. She could help you with whatever you want to do. She worked Luke, with um, Spirit Wardens. Like, she would know us a little bit. You seem to be leading the escapade on getting through this barrier. How, how about you have a conversation with her? Okay, never mind. She doesn't mm. know anything. She doesn't know shit. Maybe I'll just go speak to Badger, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, so you're going to flash back to Badger? Whether or not this is a good yeah. idea or not? Yeah. Sure. And I say to Badger, and I say, um... <laughs> so... We've been granted access from the Circle of Flame to go through their tunnels out into the Lost District, but there's still the fence, this magical barrier that surrounds the town. Do you know anything about getting through it, whether it's going to hurt us or impair us, affect us in any way, shape, or form? And if it does, is there anything you know of that can help us get through it? Uh, it would only prevent ghosts from leaving. So we could go through it unharmed. Yeah, living, yes. And getting back would be fine as well? That's where it gets complicated. How complicated? Um, the longer you're in the Deathlands, um, the more uh, ghost-like you become. Uh, and it, going yeah. through the Deathlands will prevent... Um, basically, you have to like wash yourself of like ghost residue to get back through. Is there anything you have that can help us do that? Um, he, he points to a little, like, Tesla coil, and he's like, electricity, shock yourself. We need to shock ourselves. Yeah, removes the, gets rid of the ghost residue, it neutralizes it. Out of character, how deadly is that lightning gun thing that we have? Can we, like, shock uh, ourselves? Like, set it to stun. Um, doesn't kill. <laughs> huh? No, no, stun. I mean, you, you have it set to try to kill a demon, right? Especially yeah, right. so that's so not it's a probably good it's probably not not a good way of doing it. You might uh, have, we, tinker, we'll like you might have to tinker with is it there... to reduce the, the the voltage. Badger, is there anything you could create? Maybe just something that gives off electricity, and we can cover it in rubber or some battery. some sort of uh, insulator and like some scrubber. Yeah, and then like we uh, take uh, it off and yeah, shock uh, ourselves. An electroplasm and... scrubber, basically, yeah, to get through it. Something yeah, like that. Um, you get it, but that costs you two stress for a flashback. Sure, that's okay, fine. Cool. So I'll yeah. take that. All right. So you guys know you can walk through it fine, and you have the way to get back in. Let's go, guys. That's fine. That's awesome. really. I want to. I want to be up front and be doing like since I'm on a mission. I think I'm like not all sullen and like like haunted and all that stuff. I'm like like go time and all, you know, mm -hmm. into it. Let's so roll. I reach out and I touch the barrier and I do the Jurassic Park. <laughs> ah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> awesome yeah so you guys go through um it. yeah okay great cool um yeah you guys definitely um you start walking through the swamp and stuff when you pass through where the ghost was walking you get that sense of chill so the ghost must be somewhat close um and you guys you guys walk through and when you get past the uh the gate the most notable thing that you guys see are um there's like weird inscriptions and runes in in really old old languages, um, cool. like ancient Akarosi, perhaps maybe even pre cataclysm. Um, wow, words, that's cool. words that left in in preservation. Do we know if we uh, were able to like salvage some of these and sell them for money? Well, these are these are like graffiti. Oh, okay. They're not, like, on a tree and you could, like, cut off. No, the there's no trees. You guys are in, like, essentially, you guys are going through sewers, right? You're going through, like, completely, like, you're going through, like, submerged sewers to get into the Lost District, going from the Six Towers to um, the Lost District. And you guys have just made it to the other side of the canal where the Lost District is, and you went through the electric fence. 
Um, so now you guys have to find a way up to the surface. Um, it looks so the tunnels here start sprawling off into like multiple directions. Um, none of you guys have been here before. You guys are you know you're in the Lost District, but you don't know where to come up. Um, okay. I'd say we go to the coldest place, right? That would be where yeah. I was gonna say like, could I use Hunt to navigate via Thermosense? You're, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna draft where like where like the cold the cold air is coming from and go that way. Yeah, because presumably that's where the demon is. Assuming the yeah. demon's below ground. Well, well no, like, like, not tunnel, necessarily. The okay. the Whether it leads us up or below ground doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Uh, go ahead right. and give me a hunt roll. I'll make that roll. Yeah. Uh, it is risky. Oh yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> uh, this and is the like effect is limited. Limited. Desperate for full effect is what I would say. What was that? Sorry. Um. So this will get you the right direction. So if you roll risky, uh, you'll get a limited mm -hmm. effect. This will get you in the right direction. Um. But you're, it's going to be slower, and things are going to be in your way. If you do desperate, uh, there's a chance you make it, but like completely. But also the the consequences are more dire. Uh, I'm just gonna use the limited. Basically, this is th think of it this way: if you guys are actually like in a like a D and D dungeon, what you're doing right now is it's a it's a um, it's a risky roll to get to the next room. It's a desperate roll to get to like three rooms down where the treasure is, right? Okay. Like think of it that way in terms of like progression. Line. Like that's what we're doing right now is like fast forwarding as distance wise based on the the roll. Uh, uh, this hunt of tracking to where to where the core spot is. No extra it, dice. it is risky too. You could always do like a devil's bargain, and then the risk could be like coming upon other demons because it's frosty there too. Oh yeah, don't worry. I I have a shit ton of consequences in my head right now. Well, no, I mean I like it. if he yeah. wants a devil's bargain for another yeah. thingy. So like risky, like risky will get you. Um, it's a it's a better roll because the consequences won't be as nearly as dire. I don't know what the consequences would be per se for the desperate position unless you call for it. But like the risky one would be um, consequences are limited effect. So you will um, you you will go in the right direction, but you won't get there yet because there will be an, something else that I'm going to tell you about in the future. Why? Does anyone want to assist me? Um. Uh, I'm so not basically. Great. So if you rolled a oh, desperate yeah, action, just you could bypass this this problem that will come up from the, that's preventing you from a limited effect from doing risky. Um, could I use study to help him or something? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want, you can tell me what how. Um, maybe you. What do you know about the Lost District tunnels that you I studied? That would get you maybe this it's way. not. Uh, maybe it's not so much the tunnels, but that when we were in the army, we would um, get educated on this type of thing in case we ran into ghosts. So you're not? Are you okay? Uh, like in the Scovlin Special Forces type of deal. Okay, so using okay, so so basically something from your studying of Special Forces training of navigating through submerged tunnels. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. I'll good. buy that. You can you help them hunt. You also help get there safely, right? So there's there there's that involved. Uh, that that cool. angle of making sure people are okay going through here. Sweet. Awesome. So what do we get? Go ahead and roll roll hunt for me. So that's that's um hunt with a helping die. So uh, yeah, Fraser, you yeah, take I've stress for die. that. Remember. Uh, you take stress. For uh, that, and we got a. Five. Oh yeah. Um, did you say I take stress? What was yeah. that? Uh, when I'm you stressed. help somebody, you take a stress. I think. Okay. I um, did not know. That. That's good. Yeah. Um, when you help, but and you also, I think you also tie yourself to the consequences. Consequences. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, the alternative thing is you could lead a group action to do this, but instead, <coughs> um, it's you're fine. hunting, you're hunting to find the way. I was gonna say, should we just take the five? Yeah, no, so you take... Yeah. Okay, so, um... Yeah, you, you know the way to go, but here's the problem. Um, mm -hmm. it gets really deep um, mm. in the water. You're gonna have to basically, like, swim across to get there, requiring a, um... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a resolve... A resistance roll, basically, for, like, prowess to, like, cross this, this, um... 
expanse. Like you, so you see like a set of like stairs going up to another part of the sewers. Like perhaps you were in like a lower part, and there's a, still like another subterranean, but above you level. Like if you're in like level two or three, this would be like the level above you, but still not the surface. Um, like stairs that are kind of like going up, but between you and those stairs is just like black water, and there's no place for footing. There's no place to stand on the edges. It's just water. It's all submerged. Swim, swim, swim. I have zero yeah, Do you guys dives. have a light source? I oh, would have to, wouldn't we? Do we what, sorry? You, do you have a light source? Somebody have light going on right now? It's dark as fuck in here. Uh, well, we would have had to. I presume, like, the circle of flame would have given us a torch. Oh, or... yeah. Okay. No, I mean, yeah. you, you, you could have torches if someone has the item for it. Yeah. Or like a lantern. Um, Someone has like a lantern. They're like holding it. Yeah, it's, like a, it's I'd probably Nyx because he doesn't have any. Like... Nyx, you mean Dex? Yes, I do. Wrong campaign. Yeah. Uh, okay. Close enough. Totally. I love that. Okay. I like my exes. Yeah. So yeah. So the con. So here's the comp. So that's the complication. You find the way out, but there's this thing in the way. There's this mm. expanse of water. Guess what okay. I don't want to do. You can cross, like you. Roll I'm resistance. telling you that you could cross that water right now, um, and make it to the stairs, but you guys will get. Um, ooh, you got. I, I want to say like, not sick, but like, um, like you're you're wet. Like the water is extremely Drenched. cold. So like you have like, borderline hyperthermia. So like you're level like, level like one down, harm of hyperthermia, right? Is basically what I would say. Like, like you're cold, and like it's it's messing with your nerves. That's um, level one. So like, that's what I'm giving you right now. So like, you haven't crossed this uh, chasm yet. That's full of water to get to the stairs. You could either just take that harm and make it all the way. Um, you can try to do something right now to like. Is it trauma? You could try it? to re you could resist that harm, uh, and do it and be like I'm gonna I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a resolve okay. to to do yes, this. I can or, just or tell me what you're doing to that. like get past this in a way that means that you don't take that harm at anyways right that's basically what i'm giving you right now yeah uh, i can make it through without taking harm before we do that can we think of anything to get us through here without taking what if we all went in like a line so that our body heat was all like quite close to each other so you want to group action it basically yeah like maybe like, uh look, if we group person. action and we fail, do we just take the one damage or one harm? I believe it's one trauma because cold is, an, uh, is a trauma effect. No. It's not a no? Trauma. No. That's different. Cold, no. cold that has is a trauma a personality effect. Trait. Yeah, that means you become cold as a oh, person. Oh, like cold hearted. Oh, yeah. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Like you, yes. you don't well, care about people anymore. That's so what like I saw the word cold. I yeah. just totally reasonable. Perfectly reasonable. So this is the problem, right? So this is problematic. So we should, um, so, so the consequences would escalate should we attempt to group ask action and we'll fail, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. The consequences would also be like maybe a ghost finds you. That's yeah. Possible. Oh, we would be making a lot of noise and stuff. Yeah. Too. This is, so. And you have a light source and ghost, you know, ghosts are patrolling here and yeah. you have this problem. So, so once again, your options are you can either make a resistance roll. Uh, you, well, you can either go across this thing, fine and take this hyperthermia. You can make a resistance roll, each of you, to um, to resist that harm. And yeah, take it through, that, right? Or tell me Ooh. what you're doing to avoid okay. this altogether. I want to spend one equipment for a grappling hook, and then I want to like make a line, and then I like picture us in the movie to like like crawling along this line like upside down on it like to the stairs like slowly like one at oh, a time so, so you have a way to get out of this water yeah like with the grappling hook right i'll spend a item on a so you're, you're gonna try to th try to throw this grappling hook to those stairs to get out to and to basically maybe, uh, maybe attaching not. rope to the ground. okay Okay. Then, uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, no, oh, I got it. I got it. Maybe only Fraser goes through with the grappling hook. I, I was going to say that, but I do it because I'm immune oh, to the Yeah. So we here, let but, Noogie um... swim through. He's immune to the thing. He grabs the gra uh, grappling hook on, and then me and you pull uh, ourselves actually, through. Me, yeah. So sure, this, yeah. Let me let me grab a new sheet. I don't want to do it on the map. Someone drag you guys over here. 
Sure thing. Oh boy. I just want to because I, I want to draw some stuff on here to show what, what it kind of looks like, right? So I feel um, I feel like the plan we have is solid. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you guys are like in this room here, right? There's a bunch of water, and then there's like this hallway with stairs going up it right and this is what you have to get through yeah i like the idea there's, there's like an evil gargoyle or something like sitting above the uh the things that you can throw your grappling hook on i don't see you drawing by the way yeah, yeah. i don't see anything oh i'm probably drawing in the gm layer because i'm an idiot <laughs> yeah uh i just see a blank white yep thing thing um uh how many dots do you have in um i'll just redraw it i'll draw it on the resist prowess layer how do you see so, what? Where is the dots for that? Uh, how many do you have in the first dot? Do you guys see this? Do you see this in now? prowess, I have one in finesse, one in prow. You guys see this right now? Yeah. I have yeah. One. So you guys are in the X, right? And there's this water, this really dark black water in this in this sort of like submerged hallway. You guys are already like once again, you're like neck deep. So this is this part just like precipitously drops off. You would have to either swim across, take this hyperthermia. Um, there's the to get over to these stairs that get you up here, um, mm -hmm. or, I or use this grappling hook idea and hit it off this yeah. like evil gargoyle that's like sitting above the. Um, we can the fuck up a gargoyle. You, so you uh, try to grab like basically. So your option, Fraser, you can totally gargoyle. try to throw this grappling hook, but you got to make sure it hits that gra hit that gargoyle, right? No, so we don't want to throw it. We want to send. Um, we want to yeah, send Maloka. I, I reread re my stuff. Yeah, Maloka. Uh, I still take the harm. Oh, boy. You would take oh, so the Fraser harm. might actually yeah. be in a bit of. What was it? Yeah. Oh no! Like um, I would still have to resist the harm. I was I was yes. thinking that I just could, just maybe I should do it then, as I'm not yeah. quite the combat person anyway. If somebody oh. if somebody wanted to go across this really supernaturally cold water, and go across, make that resistance roll, and then like tie the hook like over there for everyone else, you could totally do that. That's. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but I think Fraser has the most dots for prowess to resist. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I have... I, I think you do. I don't uh, know you actually... Prowl, I have one, and then prowess, I have four total. Yeah, I have four total, so that's pretty good, I think. Is it four out of six? That's good. Four out of six? That's better than my zero. Yeah, it's better than my two. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'll do it. I'll, like... No, have the grappling hook in like my my you resist mouth. Resist at, at three dice because your prowess is actually what you resist with is the number of first dots in each column for each uh, three set of um, skills. So you have insight, prowess, oh. and result. Yeah, so it's like you prowess, can have, a you have four, three right? out of four of those skills in there. So you actually oh. have a three uh, three d six okay. resistance for this, which is pretty that's good. still good though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, three out of four is good. So you, so you want to resist harm and like go over there and set this up for everyone else? Yeah, and I want to do it like apocalypse. Uh, now kind of style where i'm like i have it in my mouth and then i kind of like emerge from it like okay. from the thing, all badass kind of thing okay so i'll be one when cool. they're diving so, so resist this this supernaturally cold water um that the hyperthermia harm and like as i'm swimming through i probably like think of my wife grace uh so in <laughs> how do i uh doing this for you honey just yeah, do 36 Oh, 3D yeah, just, just roll, just roll that instead of doing the resistance thing on the sheet. Yeah. Oh, you got a six. Six. Dude. Nice. No stress. Oh, yeah. And and you actually, so there's no harm. There's no harm either, right? Oh, so uh, the the consequence of that is that the harm is disappears, right? Like you 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 would it would go from one to zero, right? So there's no harm. Um, yeah, and and you, yep. you easily you tie right up guys, the uh, yep, you tie up the um the the grappling hook for everybody. Uh, nice and easy, so now they can all avoid the water, um, and you kind of like all like do the, your ninja crawl across yeah. uh, to, the, crawl. to the stairs as this menacing gargoyle kind of just like looks at you guys the whole time as you as you go across. Um, who has the do you, who has the light right now? Uh, Dex does. Dex has the light. Okay, cool. Um, I like the I oh man, I like that. Uh, once you guys get to the stairs or or something that uh. The water in the um in in this like dark cold area kind of gives you the constellations that the sea does the mm. oh cool 
uh, beneath the water. So it's almost like oceanic. It's really weird. I like it. Um, in this uh, just small little area, it has this sort of like thing. Nowhere else so far in, in this, this place has had this. Um, so you get to the stairs. Uh, and you guys can certainly hear the sounds of some kind of like like footsteps going through mud like stomping in mud like making these big loud splatchings like splorch 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 sounds um the sounds of uh chittering are also heard uh distance not maybe not in the same way where the uh where the footsteps are um and the whole and just the air around here feels more and more cold right you guys are going to find the coldness right yeah. Yeah. So it's we like breathe colder. and it like yeah, cross. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. When you cross that chasm, you see your breath in it, and you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Um, are we out of the water now, though? Yeah. You guys are out of the water. You guys are uh, um up on the stairs. So I can take my kit out and I can yeah. actually check it and um. Hey, I can use my stuff now. So this. So this was your. So this was like your limited effect. Um. Now. Now it's just like cold. It feels cold in either direction. Um, oh, okay. So you're in like a T intersection essentially um you know this this is what happens when you roll the limited effect if you would have had the full effect you would you would have, i would have bypassed this and you would have went somewhere else right you would have went to the spot where you wanted to go yeah so um i guess your character is flint right yeah flint yeah yeah like i look to flint and i train up my rifle not on him <laughs> but I, I tell him like um i don't i don't think i should use this indoors no yeah i I'll think just, this like, is gonna be on you i think you like get like raise it or whatever and i do like the the typical military thing where i like put my hand on the nozzle and like bring it down kind of thing yeah, nice. <laughs> so, like uh yeah let's let's wait until we actually find it what, what's happening uh so we have reached a T intersection and it's equally like cold in both areas and we need to surmount this obstacle somehow. Um, uh, potluck, it, it, sky blue, blah, 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 IGT. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's, say, let's say one, one direction gives you the sounds of the, the sports sports footsteps and the other one sounds more like chittering. I'm chittering. So clackers or a demon or something. Something substantial, anyway. Well, I'd say we don't go to the Splorch Splorch because ghosts are not s substantial, are they? Or, like, are they physical? Not that you know of, no. Yeah, no. so let's go the other way, because then I'd be like, you know, physical that way, non-physical that way, I think. Cool. Yeah. Uh, At this point, I make sure everyone's got their spirit band charms on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure your um, Grimes is also like, yeah, spirit, spirit charms, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> um, cool. So, who wants Dex? You have the lantern, right? Yeah. Um. So you guys are looking around, uh, figuring out which direction to go, and when you guys like turn, so you like, turn the light one way, uh, down one hallway and stuff, and you turn the light the other way down the other hallway, and then you turn like the light kind of back on yourselves. And right in front of you in the T intersection, right smack on the wall, is like words in blood that say you should not have come here. Huh. That, 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 that wasn't there before. Like, it was not here before. Oh boy! It's like looks like it was written in blood in like a finger, right? Oh, says, you boy. should not have come no. here. Nice. Something wants to get us, guys. And, Maybe um, we should leave. <laughs> yeah, I, I think. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's let's go to the next room and then we'll go for a break and then come back for the last part. All right, all right. That's awesome. I like that detail. Um, it was nice, yeah. yeah, I like the idea. You mess of with us, weird like, demons and ghosts, dude. Lost District spooky. I like that. <laughs> maybe the lantern gives off like a green aura too, so it's sort of like the whole uh, scene down here is sort of Matrix color looking. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. The color the color wow. of the lantern changes. Yeah, yeah, I dig that. I dig that a lot. Yeah, it turns it turns to like a pale, sickly green, like yeah, instead so of the it's normal like that yellow washed out color yeah. as we're like going cool. through this dark tunnel. Yeah, and I think when Flint reads it, he's like, it's like the most alive he's felt in like you know a long time. So he like smiles, and then Grimes probably looks at him like he's like a little loopy. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like 
two out of four of us are pretty crazy. Yeah, that's true. You guys are all pretty demented at this point. I'm okay. So, which way do you guys? Yeah, you're for fine. Now? Yeah. For now. So you guys are are you going towards the sounds of the chittering or or the or the chittering. scorching? We are. Yeah. Chittering. Chittering. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, no, so smile. yeah. So uh, your guys, your footsteps somewhat betray you if you're not careful, because it's all like muddy up here. It's not. It's no. You're no longer. You're probably relieved. You're no longer in water, but it's still very damp and murky and muddy. Right. Um, so you guys. I'm gonna, um, use, I'm gonna use my training to be as silent as possible, and then probably look at Dex because he's probably gonna fucking yeah. it. <laughs> well, uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you what obstacles coming up, and then let me know if you want to get yeah, stealthy sure. or not. Right? Um, there are these. Uh, you guys. You guys find the source of of the chittering. Um, there's these large, like carrion beetles, like scarabs, that are currently like eating over um, some really long dead like corpses in this room that are like basically just muddy, dirty skeletons. They're almost all bone. Um, but you see, like, beetles the size of, like, footballs kind of just, like, skirting over and, and like, eating whatever uh, remains of uh, carrion. They look... The bodies don't look to be super old. The bodies... Uh, the bones look to be um, kind of new. Like, maybe this was a previous expedition of adventurers who died. Right? Do they, like, they, uh, they don't look ancient, right? That's, that's what I'm trying to get at, right? Yeah, yeah. Do, they, do they eat the clothing as well? or could, could Oh, we yeah, no, they eat the clothing. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe there's like a few tatterings left that they like you can see over like the mound of these these carrion beetles, uh, that like reveals like it's like looks like new clothes. Gotcha. Are there yeah, a too of... much. Kells us too much penny dreadful. Absolutely. <laughs> we yep. literally spoke about that. Absolutely. Right <laughs> um. um. Okay. So. Um, I'm thinking about taking a flashback. Yeah, but... I think that would be the thing to do. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll have a flashback just to, to a point where um, we're setting up for the uh, for the for the expedition, and I'm packing like rations, like a bunch of food. Okay, and you're gonna throw some of these rations out there. Like, I'm gonna throw this stuff in the corner and say we hightail it. So it's like meat that? or something. Yeah, it's meat. Sure. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, you're just bringing meat. Uh, in the <laughs> okay, that's not that's not dangerous. That's not like bringing meat into like the lions. Yeah. You're just running what through like that? a lion exhibit holding meat <laughs> to get yeah. rid of to get rid of. Yeah. Oh, it's for the, the bugs. Like, it's not for the lions. It's for the meat. bugs. <laughs> it's now over there. Uh, okay, I'm I'm kind of okay with it, but I'm also not sure because it sort of doesn't really make sense to the fiction that you just be like taking my matches and taking my th a wild giant thing of meat. No big deal. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm willing to do this, but this costs you. This costs you spots, right? This this means you're giving up a lot of. Um, yeah. Oh. This would cost what? you two gear worth of stuff to carry enough meat. I can't this. do that because I need yeah. gear. I have yeah, big so gear. Yeah. I was thinking, what about if we had like a huge bottle of kerosene and we like opened up the contents of the lantern, and like. Oh yeah. And then like blew fire at them as we like walked oh. or something like that. So we could have like a, like this, yeah. Like, what if we? So you want to burn your extra lamp kerosene to do this, basically? Basically. Yeah, like I want to fan the flame so that it like jets out at them, like in a, a jet of flame, and then we just Ooh. like run through. Okay. Got it. Do you mean like in a cone? Like goes out. Um. Well, I think it would naturally come out like that from a lantern if you like opened oh, yeah. up that one little window or whatever. Yeah, true. So you're basically, oh. you're going to try to, like, kill slash scare the beetles, essentially? Yeah. Yeah, so okay. I think, like, yeah. the lamp... Tinker up a flamethrower. Like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, tinker, like, one yeah. One end, I'd be fanning it uh, and, like, pushing the bottle through yeah. it on one end, and then the other end, it would be, like, jetting out. Yeah, this is totally a tinker roll to, to accomplish this. Uh, this is probably desperate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A lot of but things can go wrong. Uh, this could so... blow up on you. Uh other possible complications um maybe the beetles don't i mean the be you make the beetles angry right yeah like there's I, I want consequences to, here i want to you use up all your fuel is an already going to be a consequence right you use up so a lot so of your can your we labor. um can we tinker this thing into existence make it and then this this uh, this accomplishes the whole thing the whole kit and caboodle here yeah. 
Tinker okay. will be, be the shooting, the creation, the whole action. Using yeah. Tinker yeah. to accomplish tinker. removing this, these beetles as a threat. Like, that's the whole thing. I don't have yeah. Tinker, but... So we're gonna make it and then just walk and see what happens, and then use it if bad shit happens? Yeah, well... Well, I think I mean, we'd be on the The fly. assumption is that bad shit is already happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so also, I'm wondering if I flash back to, to something, does that give me an extra die in helping me with this? Or not? Um, before you do that, I actually already have one dice in Tinker. So I oh. think I should be the one to do it. And you give me, like, assistance. Okay. You want to assist him? And I'll. Okay. Uh, no problem. Sounds great. I need my XP. I need my XP. Um, I'm looking for a devil's bargain. I'm trying oh. to find out where that is in the rules. Oh Did boy! A devil's bargain. Uh, so we we propose yeah. something for you for a devil's bargain. Yeah. Yeah. Th- like you guys could oh. all work on this as a team action, which would help probably instead of it. Uh, that's, oh, that's you'd be it. Yeah. 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 A team action would work. Um. Okay. Here's here's something that you want. Um. If for a devil's bargain. Oh yeah. Um. Devil's bargain would be um something wicked this way comes. Yeah. Makes sense. We are causing a ruckus. <laughs> Here um, we are. You. You would so regardless of what happens with these beetles, you attract the attention of another scary denizen down here. I like the idea of me helping, as in like maybe Dex is shooting the kerosene behind the lantern, and you're aiming it, and then I yeah. am picking off the stragglers, and like killing them or something like that, as the ones that are kind of ballsy come close. Okay, so this is this. Uh, okay, so we agreed. So this is going to be a teamwork. This is going to be a group action, and we're doing a group tinker roll to create this sort of, like, flamethrower thing using yeah. your lantern fuel. Uh, yeah, it. baby. Okay. Roll for each character so, who's participating yeah. in the yeah, group. Yeah, so each team, person team, rolls and we take the best eyes. one. Um, yeah. You know, like, Grimes can help you here, too, right? Like, she, she, yeah. she counts. Yeah. So, so you're, what's the you're position? Yeah. Uh, desperate. That's also, I'm not going to take the devil's bargain. So, so you're leaving. You're not, oh, you're not taking that one. Okay. No. Okay. Cool. No, we need okay. to get out of here. Um. So, very well. So, Maloko, you are leading the group. I am. Um, so you're gonna roll for each character who participates. Um, the best roll counts as the action roll. Or just all roll for this. Yeah, we all roll. Right. So this is. This What's is, the effect? Standard limited group. Uh, standard. Uh, it is risky and. Word. Oh no, it's desperate, isn't it? Yeah. This is desperate. Desperate, desperate for standard effect. And I deliberately changed mine to be attacking things so I could do skirmish, yeah? Or no? You can help. You can help. I, <laughs> I did good. All right. Well, you're going to take one stress for this, at least. Um, Me? Yeah, that's okay. So uh, what Grimes I be, helps you. A five. I'd, good. I'd be rolling skirmish. Anything three minus you take stress for. No, you have okay. to help with Tinker. Oh, with Tinker. So it's a group action, right? So I do, yeah. do I still take stress? And it was desperate. Well, hold on, hold on. So, so let me, let me, maybe, maybe before you roll something, Fraser. Yeah. Um, your act. So your teamwork action is to assist. Yeah. Okay. So you know, you just take a stress, but you're and you're giving um Loco a die. Mm. Okay. Only one uh, player can. One again, yeah. Only one person may assist a roll. So everyone else is part of the the group action being led. Uh, okay. This. Okay. So okay. that's what's happening right now. So you assist. Uh, so you don't actually have to roll a tinker. But this now, one here is my extra dice. Yeah. Okay. I think I got a five. Oh, so you have a five. Nice. Um. Am I still taking stress, even though it's a team action? No, you don't take the stress. Noogie takes the stress covering Yay. you. Okay. To do this. And, Cheers, mate. Uh, and Grimes got a five. So uh, also, uh, you don't have to take any stress for that. Okay. Um, Mark the stress. Okay. So you guys use up a bunch of fuel killing these beetles. And I leveled up. I now have three hunt. Yeah. Sweet. I anyway, like. Uh, um. I like. Yeah, I like the idea of us like going through, and then maybe the last one like jumps at us or something, and I like, like punch it back into the the room or something, and then we like go in, go further. Well, what's gonna? This is this. So here's the consequence for this. Yeah. Because right? your total effect was a five. Oh um, yeah. You kill the beetles, right? You burn them all, 
uh, leaving um, leaving this charred bone thing that was left, right? Yeah. Like the body of, of the previous person who came here. And um, you slowly see that body um, like rise and just say, you should not have come here before it like collapses. Oh, and, uh. um, and uh, I think I think for that you guys will take can you take a zero level harm? Is that possible? No. Okay. okay. Um well then you guys are just afraid. Right? Yeah, I'll you, say you guys you have you like this immediately spooks you. Um And it sounds like a woman, right? This is this was like a masculine skeleton and it sounds like a woman's voice saying, You should not have come here. Like the demon. Well, we could be, Eric. Maybe, maybe then what you want us to do is resist fear. No, you. I'm saying you guys are taking a level one harm of fear, oh, and now okay. you, we're starting with that, and now you can resist if you want to. Oh. Um. Want to resist? No, level I'm one harm. So I would just take one harm and. Uh, or yeah, are you're, you just saying that you're stressed? Off you're sent, like you're taking stress, or, like you're quote unquote stressed out from this, right? You're like mentally, this mentally uh, tilts you is essentially what I'm trying to get at. So like whether that manifests as fear, uh, stress, like hypertension, um, I leave that to you. But like your body is involuntarily doing this after seeing this um, ghost. Okay. Yeah, and level one harm is not bad. I'm just gonna take the harm. Yeah, One's, like you can resist uh... this. Tell me how, but um, otherwise just take this harm of, of being, like, stressed. See, I'm just trying to figure out how Tenacious would work with this. Oh, does Tenacious because... reduce harm? Uh, it reduces the effect of harm. And if I'm not oh, actually taking zero. harm... then it's zero. Then you don't take any harm. You just don't care. Okay, yeah. All right. I am... And you're a whisperer, so I guess care. that makes sense. You, you steal thyself. I'm like, <laughs> come at me. Steal cold-hearty, cold-hearted. Grimes, <laughs> I think... I think Grimes mentioned something like um, the ability to animate a corpse like this to deliver a message is um, high level. Pretty dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're we're dealing with something very powerful here. This demon, um, this demon knows what it's doing. Can I fight that effect with anger? How do you? Like, what do you mean? Like instead of it scaring me, it makes me like. I react to it instead of with fear, with like, like I'm not afraid of you, and like in an angry way. Yeah. Yeah, that's how. That's how, how you want to resist. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that, that sounds like either resolve or prowess. Like, right, tell me, right. tell me which one you're choosing. It's probably um, not insight, but it's it could be resolve no. or prowess depending on how you describe it. How about? Um, I think. Um, I think maybe. It would be resolve in that I like get angry and like shout back at it kind of thing, maybe. You just be like, bring it on kind of thing. <laughs> bring it on, bitch, but Yeah. Okay, so it's probably prowess. Like, yeah. I'm physically stronger than this. Yeah. Okay. So then I just roll prowess. Yeah, yes. this is because you're you're resisting physical strain, I guess. Even though it might be mental strain, I don't know. This is fine. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, you got oh, a shit. you got a crit actually. Nice. Oh, did uh, I? You actually I clear one stress. Bad. I was like, that's not good. <laughs> uh, you actually clear one stress for doing that. Holy. You got a critical one of resistance, so you get a free clear from of one stress for us. And you're also not no longer afraid. Awesome. I'm just sitting there like, guys! Yes. <laughs> cool. Um, There's demons! So you guys have just beat the, uh... So you guys just beat these weird beetles. And, uh... I think we're gonna go over a break at that point. And we're gonna come back. So we'll be back in five minutes for the last hour of Cloak and Dagger, where we're gonna be fighting this demon, the Lost District. Um, gavel! The, Cloak the and Gavel! I, I keep saying that! God damn it! Cloak and gavel. Uh, I need to eat something. <laughs> Alright, yeah. um, we'll see you guys in five minutes. Yeah.